Hey, yo. This jike blew up part of the safari zone with a bomb. He thinks I'm just going to let him get away with that. I don't think so, pal. You got a pulverizing punch to the face coming. I don't know where he thinks he's going. Ah. <gasps> Looker. <laughs> yeah, even the games are making fun of their haircuts. Kind of beat me to the punch this time. Uh, I'm always making fun of people's haircuts. Even though I'm as bald as can be. I never understood why he just stopped right there to interview witnesses. The guy's right here. He just needed to stay on his trail. There we go. All right, Luxray, let's pulverize him. Oh, wow, critical hit right out of the bat. Too bad my thunder's going to wreck your shit. You are fainted, Krogon. That's it? That's the only Pokemon you had with you? Oh. Oh, he's all tuckered out. Cynthia. Barry. What? <laughs> My sister. He's more impatient than energetic. <laughs> yeah, I had noticed the Psyduck standing around up there. Medicine? Ooh. Mm. I can get the watery eyes from all the yawns. I hope so too. I would love to meet all the Pokemon that are out in the world, but that's quite a tall order. A lot of them. Go back and tell Looker what we found. I also need to figure out how to get in there. Looks like I need rock climb. I don't have rock climb yet, do I? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I don't have the ability to do that just yet. But 
as soon as I do. Oh. Well. He took off. Wait a minute. We could just fly. What am I thinking? Staravia! Buddy, oh pal, oh friend, oh pal, oh pal, oh friend, oh buddy. Ugh, she said it was routes. Right here. Salacion Town, or north, rather, of Salacion Town is where we need to go. Wait, what am I doing? Now we do need the HM defog. I mean, we don't technically just have to have it. We can still get through the route without it, but it makes it a lot more difficult. So it's something I would like to have, and I don't think we have it yet. Let me take a look. Oh. Nope. Hey there, guys. That helped. Oh, oh, your friends went the other way. <laughs> sure, I can deliver the old charm. I was going that way anyway. But where do we get defog from? Let me uh, just ask the old Google. Because I don't remember off the top of my head. Great Marsh. Oh. Wait a minute. Have I been playing this game wrong this whole time? All these years? Let's see. Is this something about Defog being available in my app? Is is that a thing? Do like I get an do I get an HM app? Hang on, I gotta see this. Um, bump, dump, dump. Oh, it means for brilliant diamond and shining pearl. Okay. Okay. That makes infinitely more sense than my what I was thinking. Okay. We just need to go back down to Pastoria. Oh. 
Just catch five, any five will do, I'm assuming. Quagsire! And let's try and catch something a little uh, easier. I said easier. This is written wrong. Hang on. This is, that's not exactly what I'm. Wait, it says defog is, hang on. Go to Salacion town, go to the cave. That's right. Defog isn't in the Great Marsh. What the hell? Wow. If I hadn't a double check that, like if I hadn't a thought to double check that, we'd have been here all damn day. Yanma. That I do need. That we don't have. Ah, you little punk. Oh no, it fled. No, I need that. Yanma, come back. Now watch me get nothing but Quagsire and Bibberol the whole time. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. I wonder why it fled. Whooper, the whoopster. I specifically want the Anma. Hangala. Well, I have a Tangala. I think I caught two, knowing that I was going to evolve one. Yeah. It, Safari Zone is always a pain in the ass, so if I don't have to catch something, I'd prefer not to. Okay, I'm not, you know what, I'm not going to waste you guys' time. This is some bullshit I can handle on my own, off camera. Trying to get Yanma.
I hate it here. Go! The fire ball! Fuck my life, I guess. Yeah, I'm not gonna deal with that on screen. That's something I'll lay on the couch and deal with later and like hit the fast forward button and then that's how we're going to handle that. In the meantime, yes, I want to exit. I don't know why. Let me put whoever lied to me on blast. Let's see. I googled AI overview. Well, there you go. It's the fucking AI's fault. In Pokemon Platinum, you can find the DM or the the Defog HM in the Great Marsh in Pastoria City. No, that's incorrect. Go to the Great Marsh, which is located north of Pastoria City. Enter the marsh for 500 cash. Speak to the Ace Trainer NPC on your right. Ace Trainer will give you several TM-97s, which teach the Pokemon move Defog. The Defog HM will also be available in your Poke Edge. That has to be for Brilliant Diamond, right? Because first of all, it says TM... I, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, the AI fucked us. I now know where it actually is. It's going to be a matter of getting through this little cave puzzle. This is where the unknowns are. Or where the unknown are. See? Even this guy knows it. Ruin Maniac. Well, this is a terrible matchup. Bronzor. Just gonna keep water gunning your whole team into oblivion, my man. Oh. Okay. How about Shockwave?
I guess it's time to trim the old eyebrows. Hmm. One little strand of hair came down in front of my eye. There's something in my right eye. I woke up with something in my right eye and I couldn't find it when I looked in the mirror and I don't know what it is. But it's bothering me. It's been a rough day. Today has been one of those days, and I've been having more days like that lately. You know, just you wake up and it's just nonsense from the word go. Ruins your whole day, and then like. It's one, it's one of those things where your day gets ruined very early on, you know, and you have to live with that for the rest of the time you're awake for the day. And it's just, uh, I've been having those kind of days lately. Why? Why won't you faint? Why won't you just go down? Why? Just do it. Just think. Faint. Thank you. Thank you very much. Firestone and a water stone. So, um, we're going to get some other items out of this too, which is nice. I'm going to need them for evolving some of the Pokemon we have in storage. I do like this music though, it's very pleasant. Lord. There it is, HMO5. The power of defeated giants infuses this plate. Friendship. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. Friendship. Friendship again? Oh Lord, now I gotta figure out how to get out of here. No! No! I didn't memorize the path. I was wondering if we were ever going to run into any wild Pokemon down here. Thankfully, we already caught all the unknown. So we're just going to...
A little turned around for a second, but we now have Defog. <laughs> One of, if not the most useless <laughs> HM in all of Pokemon. Very annoying. It, it just, it's the epitome of eating up a slot for the sake of eating up a slot. You know what I mean? Very annoying indeed. Yes, it is annoying to the max. Dun, 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 dun. Today definitely feels kind of slow, kind of eh. I'm, part of me is really glad that we didn't do Luigi's Mansion today because I would not have been up for that. Like, I wouldn't have had the energy for that. This is playing Pokemon is bittersweet because I love Pokemon, but at the same time, it's a uh, low energy effort. Um, it's still putting out content, but it's not, uh, not putting out something major, you know, it's not video game, video game. I don't know how to explain it. Okay. Let's see. I'm surprised Bibberol can't learn Brine. Hey, look at there. An actual attack. You should be proud. We learned something good today. Get rid of Fane attack because it does nothing. It is the worst of all time. The worst of all time is the worst. There should be some trainers around here somewhere. Scyther! Scyther! Ooh. Now, I don't remember if we did Sizor, so we'll catch a second. We'll catch you. Oh, I should have used a net ball. I have net balls. Oh, sweet. Dun, 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 dun. And then we'll get around to evolving him when we can. Swipe. Yeah, see, we were very fortunate just to knock it down into the red. Because I think we're going to end up fainting every Scyther we see from here on out. <laughs> I got to sit up. My back and my butt's killing me. We do need Roserade. Good, it's good experience at least, if nothing else. Oh. 
I wasn't expecting a Geo dude. I give you that. You kind of caught me a little bit off guard, buddy. I wasn't expecting you. I guess there are no trainers in this area. Ooh, Ponyta. One of the things I gotta do today is I gotta clean. So after I'm done streaming, while I'm waiting on the streamer that I wanna watch to go live, I'm gonna clean. I gotta dust everything and vacuum and clean the bathroom, even though. Oh, there are trainers in this area. But you know, like I said, you know, let's let's wrap for a minute. Let's have a little bit of a conversation because we have time to kill. Like I said, Pokemon's not exactly highly cerebral. There's not a lot going on. It's not really an action game. So let's let's have a little heart to heart, guys. Recently, I talked about on the show how I've overshared over the years, mostly in vlogs, but somewhat in the uh, actual episodes too. You know, I, I've talked about maybe like a lot of mental health stuff. I've talked about the various medications that I've taken. I've talked about my struggles with diet and exercise and my weight. And I talked about all that at nauseum. Was it ek nauseum or at nauseum? Whichever. And I want to stray away from that. You know, I, I want to move beyond just my entire catalog of content being about where I'm at up here, where I'm at physically, and yada, yada, yada. I, uh, I kind of want to start to focus a little more on the content at hand, you know, be a little more present in what we're doing. And I know that's kind of counter to, to what I said earlier about Pokemon kind of being an easy to stream thing. Um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. And I know that kind of feels like a cop-out answer. I always feel like the, the term, it is what it is, is usually a cop-out answer when not used in the right context. But maybe in this context, it's not a cop-out answer. I don't know. But I feel like we're in a better place today than we were in previous times i'm very optimistic about the future despite every day you know i wake up and there's some more fuck shit in the news that i have to contend with which is why i was telling tyler this too um we were talking about the various algorithms earlier um we were talking about TikTok and facebook and everything and the algorithms that they use and i was telling tyler that as of a few days ago, I made the decision that from now on going forward, when it comes to social media, and I think I had this thought maybe a few weeks ago or a month ago too, and I didn't really stick with it, so that's on me. But I, I think what I want is just any and everything to do with social media. I don't want to hear about any politics. I don't want to hear about the latest celebrity gossip. I don't want to hear any of that. Like... You have a finite amount of time to live, to be alive, before it's an infinite void of nothing for eternity. Um, because, shocker people, there's no such thing as the afterlife. Ghosts don't exist, your religions don't exist, <laughs> this is not a thing. Once your lights are out, you're gone for eternity. Which makes life the most valuable thing in existence. You know, if you've always wondered why people make such a big deal over death and murder and, and things, that's why. Because when it's lights out, it's permanent. For eternity. I, I can't put a period on that hard enough. Um, so why would you want to waste the finite amount of time you have listening to all the bullshit? And that's where I'm at now. 
I talked about this a, little, a good bit yesterday when Tyler and I were streaming. Uh, we 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 sh we did a stream that was like four hours long. We did the the last little bit of Chrono Trigger, and I, we discussed it somewhat in that stream. Um, so if you want to go over the the conversation there, you can go over to the Chrono Trigger playlist and look at the last two episodes. That's where the discussion is. But I was telling him and telling chat and everybody that I'm tired. I know I've said that on this channel before, but now I'm more tired than ever. Um, and I don't just mean physically, like I'm burnt out. I need the happiness because it's in my life with my personal experiences, happiness has always been down here while reality has always loomed up here. You know, here's how the world really works. Er. And it, it, it's been weighing on me for a while, and I, I need that to kind of shift. Um, I need the pessimism to, to come down. I need the negativity to come down. I, I need these things to change if I'm going to continue to live and not die of a stroke. <laughs> um, so as far as social media is concerned, I've started training my algorithm now to only see video game stuff and pets and animals um and tiktok or not tiktok instagram is probably going to be the harder because i've tried this before in the past and it didn't work no matter how much like there's not there's no button or setting in any of these social media platforms where you can go in and say click reset my algorithm except for youtube youtube has that but uh the apps do not um, so you have to train it over time and Instagram can be really hard to train. So it's going to take some time, but that's what I'm working on. Um, I think the final nail in the coffin for me was when I woke up yesterday and Tyler had sent me a link that was talking about Nintendo was like legally going after and having another switch emulator taken down and that's just when my brain was like eric you need to stop you need to walk away you need to not hear this you i'm not gonna disagree with my brain either i'm gonna do just that because you know like i was saying yesterday in that conversation we were having near chrono trigger how much is enough when it comes to the constant boycotts and the canceling this person and that person, it's like people are going to continue to be shitty. And um, while I do hate the mentality of, well, one person can't make any changes because I disagree. I'm getting to a point where I'm having to like put up or shut up, you know, like over the years, I've had friends that are like, I don't vote. I don't give a fuck. I'm not getting involved in politics. I don't blame you. Politics fucking sucks. But you do have a responsibility there, cowboy. For every every year you don't vote, there's 20,000 people who are voting like against your morals, beliefs, and principles. So you, you have kind of like a social responsibility. There's a social contract that we all have. And you sign it when you're born, whether you like it or not. None of us like it. You don't exactly consent to it, but that's part of living in a society. You know what I mean? Um, you might not agree with capitalism or the police, which of course, a cab in my opinion, but uh, in order to have goods and services available to you other than you know in order to have the herd protection of the herd to live in a community in order to have your electricity and your internet in order to have food brought to the store for you to buy in order for you to have these things you have to live and function inside of a society and that's not free in order to reap the benefits of having other humans around you you have a social contract you have obligations to other members of society. And I think that a lot of people forget that. I think a lot of people aren't taught that as children. And I think that is very detrimental to society. Um, especially in America. America is probably the worst country on the planet for that. Everybody in America is out for self. 
for whatever reason, at a very early age, we teach our children, just look out for self. And they carry that bullshit mentality right into their adulthood. And it fucks with everybody. Blame religion. But people are going to do what they're going to do. And at the end of the day, all I'm doing is a lot of harm to myself by looking at that stuff on social media and stressing out over it. Um, so I'm just kind of going to quietly live my life in the background now. Just going to play my games. Sit here and sip on my soda because I don't really like coffee and I couldn't be bothered to go make tea before going live. <laughs> so, that's my resolve now. And that's, 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 that's where, I, that's where my headspace is, folks. I'm still going to uphold my part of the social contract. You know, I'm not just going to go out willy nilly and start running stop signs and shooting people in the face. I'm still going to obey the law of the land. I'm still going to go vote. I'm just not going to pay attention to it outside of, you know, what I need to do the things. Stunky, stunky monkey. We still don't have any ground attacks for Hippopotas, do we? Here comes a sandstorm. Mm, we have sand tomb. You bitch. Sucks to be you. I'm about to heal myself of this poison. I need to buy more full heals because I do not have anything to get rid of the poison on me. That was a waste of my time, I guess. I know that when you're affected by a status element, it cuts your attack. That's why I used the full heal and got rid of the poison, because I wanted my attacks to be at their max strength. Otherwise, she's just going to be here forever. But this stunky insists on me being poisoned. Well, I guess it's the trainer giving the commands, but... Probably should have just done that from the get-go. He had a conniption fit when he come out of his Pokeball. Missile. 
Okay, buddy. It's time to switch you out. You did very well out there. Looks like we haven't had any other internet issues since I reset the modem. I'm just going to have to start doing an internet check, you know, before every stream, I guess. But I finally installed the Spectrum app, which allows me to go in and reset them on my phone without having to physically climb under my desk and unplug the, the modem and the router, which is nice. Unless the bill is slightly overdue, like if you don't pay it on the day, then for whatever reason they lock it up tight and it's like, you can't, you can't reset it this way unless you pay the bill. It's fucking stupid, but we paid the bill the other day. We had until the 13th. Today's the third. So we didn't even make it to the due date before they had their drawers in a wad. There you go. Let's get you all patched up. While I'm thinking about it, we got you up to level 30. Poles. Oh, okay. Wow. Why does a normal type know that move? I don't know. No real reason. Just cause. A palm is such a bizarre choice to learn water pulse. How the fuck can an A palm learn water pulse? That makes no sense to me. What? 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 I'm about to fuck you up, son. Sonita. <laughs> Daughter. Rock smash to the face. Cause you're normal type and this go hurt lots. Wow, it did nothing. I hate HM so much. Not only do they eat up space on your, your Pokemon, they do nothing. They do no damage. Even when they're super effective, they still do no damage. Pathetic, really. Well, look at you. UPS man.
Let me grab this package real quick. Shit is this? I leave the room for two seconds, just spamming the A button. I come back to my bird being fainted. in chat yes the interest in my streams has gone back down on uh twitch we had a brief moment early this year where we had a handful of people following but nobody's watching on twitch when i stream on youtube i get people in every single stream i get at least one new person that comes in they don't always subscribe but more often than not they do which is wasting my time, essentially. Today, though, I did play around with the tags, and I tried out some different tags to see if I could get some different people in here, but so far, nobody's speaking in chat. Go a bite. There we go. I was hoping I could kind of squeak by and get to the next town, but no, we're going to have to go back and heal. It's fine. It's agitating, but it'll be fine. Get our team back up on the feetsies. God, that is so slow. <sighs> Oh. 
Chancy? What are you doing here, Chancy? Are you gonna run or are you gonna let us catch you? I'm gonna put her to sleep and try to catch her. <laughs> After all the pain and trouble that I went through to catch Chansey, <laughs> you know, here she is. Here she is, Miss Polka Universe. Bit slapped me. Jesus. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, dearie. chance she's gonna make me fucking waste this pokeball and it's gonna piss me off but heal ball go we do need blissey goddamn told you gonna be a toughie to catch a lot of it's gonna be because of that shit right there Come on. I'm such a little bitch. Hmm. <laughs> hmm.
I only have three Ultra Balls left. Two now. Jesus Christ. Some of these Pokemon act like legendaries. Chansey's one of those that act like a fucking legendary. You're going to faint, my dear. This bullshit. Well, we tried. Last Ultra Ball. Yeah. Well, I did what I could do. such a fucking waste of resources. Now you gotta see why I, I work on the Pokedex so much off screen. Because it's just a lot of fuck shit. A lot. Not fly. I did not expect to find you here. Fight me, bitches. Then let's do some dishes. Whoa! Hello! Fully evolved Pokemon! Uh-oh! Well, this is gonna be trouble for me! Yikaroonies. Okay. Yikesicles on bicycle. Uh, I'm gonna put your asses to sleep as long as I can get away with it before you faint me. Yep, I didn't think so. I tried! <laughs> and I flinched. Wasting a fucking turn. God damn it. Well, at least that'll be on my side. Hooray for Quick Claw. Eat shit, Gyarados. Time for Raichu to go nighty night. That's all you can do. But you can't very well thunderbolt either one of these. Wah, wah, wah.
Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, not happy about my bird, but I'll take it. Been a lot of back and forth today. We dealt with the Team Galactic Goon. Terrorist. Then we went and got Defog and got a little lost in the marsh, thinking that's where Defog was because that's where Google told me it was. Google has lied and has tricked me. Remember that brief period where I thought I was going to give up Google and try something else? The hubris of it all. I probably should have stuck with that, though, to be honest. Another Scyther. I was really worried it was going to do the cannot escape bullshit. We've slathered, we've slathered a couple of trees with honey along the way because I keep telling myself I'll come back in later off stream and look at the tree and then I never get around to it I'm terrible Like I said earlier, I think it's time to trim up the eyebrows. Maybe trim the beard a little. It's time for a full on haircut because I'm naturally going bald here, but I still have the George Costanza going on, the classic horseshoe pattern where it wraps around the back of my head. And I've got this weird dent in the back of my head. I've always known it's there. But looking at my vacation photos where Tyler and Tiffany were taking pictures of the back of my head while I was standing on the beach in the water, I never noticed just how fucked up the back of my head looked to other people. But uh, I like to keep this shaved pretty low. Um, a lot of gray hair. I didn't realize just how gray I'd gone. But it's time to, time to trim everything up. I'll leave the hat off for now because it's going into the conversation that I want to have that I'm about to have the other day actually about a month ago I want to say this um, post showed up in my feed on Instagram um, it always say sponsored and it's where somebody's paid for the algorithm to boost their posts. And it, it was some guy like working out and talking about bettering yourself and taking care of yourself. But instead of just being positive, like, you know, and telling you it's okay to take care of yourself and, you know, have some confidence and do better. And, and, you know, all good stuff. He had to throw religion in there. And I left a comment that says, you know, you're probably better off not believing in, you know, falsehoods like that and maybe putting your faith and your belief in yourself and your own abilities over magical sky daddy that doesn't exist and then somebody under that came along and commented and said you know um oh jesus was a real man that walked the earth he, we see split the time in half it's literally called ad and bc and blah blah, blah. 
I didn't. I commented under that and I said, I, I really hope you're joking. And then that was the end of the conversation. It sat there for a month or better. Then this little piece of shit shows up. Comments that says something, and I'm paraphrasing. You're a 40, 50 year old man who still likes Pokemon and from the looks of your profile gave up a long time ago. Leave this man of Christ alone. Now, I typically don't fight with people on social media. It's one of the things I've always avoided. Every real once in a while, I might have a, a, an unhealthy exchange with somebody like this. But, um, you know, it bothered me. I have really thin skin. It's just a, it's, it's an unfortunate fact about myself. Um, I don't take criticism well. I don't take being mocked and poked fun of very well. Um, I feel it very deeply and it hurts me to my core. I, I'm the kind of kid that if you were to call me fat and make fun of me in school, I go cry in the corner. That's just the type of personality I have. You know, I, I, I'm not one of these sassy people that comes back at you. I'm not clever enough to come back at you with a quip, you know. I just I feel it real hard when when somebody shits on me and um, I don't remember exactly what I said but I said something along the lines of uh, oh yeah he said you know mind your own business and all that kind of stuff and I was like well this guy paid to promote this and that put it in my timeline so that it gives me the right to leave a comment you know that he retorted with like you know, he, he was making fun of me being bald. And he said I had a pedo beard and that I didn't know how to take care of myself or groom myself and harped again for a second time on the Pokemon stuff at age 40. And it bothered me for like two days. I ultimately just I, I, I left a message so other people would see it. And then I blocked the, the dumbass. Um. I, again, for the 50th time in my life that this has happened to me, I thought I was arguing with a grown ass man, but it turns out it was some 15 year old piece of shit who said, I'm, I'm, I'm 15 year old athlete in school who makes good grades and does this, this, and this, and I work out and take care of myself and da, 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 da. And my first thought was, okay, well, you're underage block DNI, as they say, do not interact. Um, but I blocked a little shit. But that fucking stuck with me. And it's been bothering me since the little shit said something. And it's the second time within a year that's, you know, something negative has happened. Um, there was the time that I walked around the corner from where I live to go to the Pokemon stop for Pokemon Go. And there were a bunch of little teenagers on the on the on the front porch of that house there. And they were hollering and saying stuff at me, calling me fat and stuff, asked me if I was there to meet kids and stuff like that. And it's, I'm like, okay, what is this? What the fuck is this? What is happening in my life? And um, it's, it's, it, it made me think about October of last year when those new people showed up in, in town where I live and they were playing Pokemon Go and they were causing problems within our Pokemon community in our group on Facebook. And I remember they came to my YouTube channel and attacked me there. And they were, they said that I, they left comments saying, why are you texting my cousin? Why are you texting my 10 year old cousin? She's 10 years old. And I'm like, what? And that's, it's, it's kind of come to my understanding that people have become too comfortable these days, throwing around accusations and using that as, as a, as a weapon. I see it a lot in politics. I see it a lot on social media. You know, politicians get it the most. Remember Pizzagate? Oh, they they got kids in the basement. They're, they're, they're harvesting their adrenochrome, which is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. First of all, adrenochrome can be synthesized in the lab for pennies on the dollar. Number two, nobody's fucking harming your kids. Nine times out of 10, when somebody does something to a child, it's going to be a relative. 
you know, when a child goes missing or something happens, it's usually a relative. That's the the statistic, you know, but it did kind of aid in my decision of just switching my brain off for social media and not interacting with people because it's not just that aspect of it. There's the fact that I've been on social media now for as long as I've been doing YouTube, which is 2007. And I keep trying to interact with other Pokemon accounts and Jurassic Park accounts and Metroid accounts. And at the end of the day, they don't want anything to do with me. I can't really get anybody to interact back. I can't get any shout outs from other YouTubers. I can't get shout outs from other people with a large following on social media. So I've gone down the rat, the, the rabbit hole, the, the path of trying to, um, socialize and make connections on social media with other people in my in group that do let's plays and things like that. And they just want nothing to do with you. And you know, it, it's disheartening, but it is what it is. Um, but no, it's again, I'm very thin skinned and even talking about it now, it's kind of making me mad, you know, because like, here's the thing, people in the LGBT community already have to deal with people using the slippery slope argument of like, oh, well, if we allow gays to get married, what next? You're going to marry a horse? You can let the pedophiles get married. That's what's known as a slippery slope argument. And it's bullshit. Cause that's not a thing that's happening because <laughs> every now and then the pedophiles will show up and be like, we want to be part of the LBGTQ. And every time we tell them, no, go fuck yourself. It's not happening. There's a huge, gigantic, gargantuan difference between our existence and your bullshit existence. We're not the same. Go fuck yourself. But it's, um, yeah, it, it bothers me that that is so easily used today and thrown around making those kind of accusations. Cause I remember in the eighties and the nineties, if you accuse somebody of murder, that was just the end of the world. You know, you, you didn't throw around stuff like that. Oh, you, you're a murderer. You did this, this, and this, you know, it was like nowadays people are so desensitized to crime, especially with these shootings every other week. People have just gotten to the point where the shock value is gone. And now the new generation of little shits don't have any respect for anybody older than them. They'll say and do anything. And it's ridiculous. But at the moment, for now, you know, I haven't had any actual knock down drag out fights with anybody on, on the internet. I've not been canceled. Again, I don't do anything to get canceled. I might have said some political stuff back in the day that might rile a few feathers. You know what I mean? Oh, welcome into chat. Yeah, I don't remember what the settings are on uh on my Twitch for like I don't know how long you have to follow. Set those settings so long ago. I don't remember what they are. Just kind of in here chatting by myself. But uh, yeah, that's, you know, and, and all the time that I've been doing YouTube over the years, you know, I typically like to, I usually either wear a hat. I usually wear my hat all the time. I like to wear my hat backwards a lot of the time. It, it's one of the things that makes me comfortable. Sometimes I'll wear a bandana over my head. But that's why I popped the hat off today and went bald to show you that, yeah, I'm self-aware that I'm bald. <laughs> you know, it's, I'm not going to put on 30 filters to hide the fact that I'm bald, unlike some of these people on Instagram. Um, but no, that's, that's everything that's been happening. So going forward when it comes to social media i'm just going to train my algorithm to just show me video game stuff and animals i don't want to hear anything about politics i don't want to hear anything about world news i i'm just i'm not going to be leaving comments like i used to 
I just don't want the hassle, you know. There we go. Goodbye, Golbat. Damn. You know what? We'll switch out with Grodel. We're like two levels away from evolving to Torterra. Hopefully she doesn't have a lot of bird Pokemon. Damn it. <laughs> ah, fuck me. Well, at least it's using Reflect. But yeah, you're, you're coming in towards the later half of the stream. Today, I, um, I talked about a lot of stuff and I'll, I'll recap here in a second but uh since you're new um the way i do things is today's stream will be uh edited a little bit and put up on youtube tomorrow everything i do on twitch always goes over to youtube um and i was talking about this earlier how i stream on twitch lately and i get no views at all i spend an hour and a half talking to myself like a lunatic but if I stream on YouTube, I get two or three people in chat, and I usually get a subscriber or two every time I stream on YouTube. So at the end of the year, we may kind of we we may have to dump Twitch altogether because Twitch is not we're not growing. Nothing's happening here on Twitch. God damn it, Grodel. I'm sorry, buddy. But yeah, a lot of times um, I'll I'll sit here and talk to myself because people will watch this later on YouTube, you know, and then they can respond in the comments and we can have a, a dialogue. But it says there's nobody usually around to talk in actual Twitch chat. Hmm. But it's, you know, going back to what I was talking about, as a kid, you know, my dad very specifically, but both my parents and teachers and everybody in general tried to beat it into my head. You know, your words have extreme power and weight. You really need to be careful about what you say to other human beings. You, you know, you, you never know what somebody's dealing with. And as children, we're kind of think we know better. Especially as teenagers, we're, we're just little shits. We'll just say whatever the fuck comes out of our mouth. Because in our little undeveloped fuck-ass brains, it's like, I need to do the most damage, so what can I say that's terrible? But at our big, big age now, like, I, I'm very, you know, cautious about what comes out of my mouth as far as, like, telling somebody off or... Even compliments, you know, at a certain age, even trying to compliment somebody can be harmful. <laughs> you know, you, you could tell some, you, I, I caught myself doing this not too long ago. I saw a friend in person that I hadn't seen in a while and they were talking about weight loss. And I was like, oh yeah, you lost a lot of weight since the last time I saw you. You would think that's harmless on the surface, but after I thought about it two seconds later, I was like, oh, so, you know, Different things come across different ways to different people. So, ultimately, it's best just to keep your mouth shut <laughs> about most things. I don't know. 
I don't know. It's just where I am at personally in my life. I think it's time to to start enjoying life, take things a lot less serious than I've you know been taking them. Just fucking stay all social media is my big one. You know, got to spend less time on that nightmare. Which is what I've been doing for the past couple of months. I've been spending less and less time. I've deleted a bunch of my socials and uh, tried to narrow down my, my, you know, online presence a little bit. And it's helped a lot. You know, I'm in a de I'm definitely in a better place mentally than I've been for a while. Narrowing down my online presence and getting rid of stuff that wasn't really bearing any fruit. It's been really helpful. It's been really nice, actually. I spend more time present in reality and less time with my face buried into a phone. Um, and I'm not saying everybody has to do that or that's something that everybody's doing. I'm just saying that for me personally, God damn it. We have two HMs taking up space. But, uh, yeah. And I don't know how many more times I, I, I keep repeating myself on that, but that's really all I got going on right now. So I apologize. It's, um, you know, just having to make those changes to, to stay healthy mentally. Critical hit, but it wasn't critical enough. Ooh, takedown miss, though. I felt that I was in the right with that exchange. You know, because like I said, the last thing I did was I blocked them. But my comment to them, as far as I know, will remain public so other people will see it. Um, but I said, you know, basically, this person paid Instagram to promote their post, which puts it in my timeline, which gives me the right to comment whatever I want within reason, within TOS. And that's what I did. You know, why I, I said, why is this shit on my timeline? Yada, yada. And I said, you know, you, when you're older, you'll learn to take a comment. You don't like build a bridge and get over it. You know, you have to pick your fights. And unfortunately he chose poorly by picking me. Oh, wait, let's go. Do this one quick cutscene and then we'll call it a day. All oh, right, this is the team uh, Galactic guy. All right, we will uh, we'll fight this bozo next time because I'm getting a little tired and I got a lot to do this evening. Oh. Ultimately, wrapping up everything I've discussed today, if there's any advice I could impart to anybody, don't let people steal your light. We live for such a short, teeny, tiny, blink of an eye amount of time. Fuck them. People aren't worth it. They're not worth the breath. They're not worth the typing of your fingers on social media. Just... You just live your life and be in your own little bubble. Why does my why does the Twitch app keep disconnecting? That's what I want to know. Am I even still live? It's been doing, I always double save, by the way. It's been doing this now for the past couple of streams that I've done on Twitch. Because I always have the chat pulled up on my phone and the stream itself. Because I like to watch and see 
if there's any lagging or if there's any disconnect, but it just keeps freezing. And I don't know if it's doing that on actual Twitch or if it's just the damn app. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's stream and today's episode. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching. See you folks.